YouTube, it's Tone, back with another one for you. Uh, this one is the Bill of Ex International Bill of Exchange process. This is the third video. I don't even know how many this is even going to end up being. Probably like 20 videos, I think, this whole, this whole thing here. So you guys are going to know a lot, probably more than a lot of people by the end of this video. I'm hoping that by the end of this shit, you'll have enough confidence to just move forward with this shit and stop letting these people run your shit like that because that's just fucking crazy so let's get into this so notice a memorandum of law points and authorities in support of international bill of exchange that's what this whole uh, book here is if you need it if you want the book email me it's free i mean you already know what it is so private wealth and assets of those classes of persons by whom it is owned so private wealth you got to know that you are extremely wealthy these people are just using all your credit right now they're using your credit right now and you can take that shit back so at risk uh backing the government's obligations and currency by their implied consent through the government having provided such remedy as defined and codified above for recovery of what is due them on their assets and wealth at risk and so uh, the provision for this are found in the same act of public policy hjr 192 uh, public law 7310 that suspended the gold standard for our currency abrogated the right to demand payment in gold which means that nobody can demand payment in gold and not just that they can't demand uh, payment in any certain species of currency so when you go there with your bill of exchanges it's the same exact thing as a federal reserve note they can't tell you that that shit is not valid there because if that's not valid there then federal reserve notes are not fucking valid there because there is no difference and they cannot demand any certain species of currency if they are demanding payment. So, and made Federal Reserve notes for the first time legal tender backed by the substance of the credit of the nation. Now, the word nation means the people. Uh, territory makes reference to territory and land. Nation means people. So, the credit of the people. Okay? Credit of the nation, credit of the people. That's your credit. All U.S. currency since that time is only credit against the real property, wealth, and assets belonging to the private sovereign American people taken and or pledged by the United States, all caps, to its secondary creditors as security for its obligation. Consequently, those backing the nation's credit and currency could not recover what was due them by anything drawn on Federal Reserve notes without expanding their risk and obligation to themselves. Any recovery payments uh, backed by this currency would only increase the public debts to its citizens uh, were collateral for which any equitable remedy was intended to reduce. So what they're saying is that you cannot reduce the public debt by taking more Federal Reserve notes, which are debt, at a fucking interest rate. And then when you take that $1, they go ahead and lend 10 and charge interest on top of that shit. So really, you can't pay a debt with a debt that shit is illegal. So these people cannot demand Federal Reserve notes because that shit is their fucking debt, okay? So, and it, it just doesn't work like that. So, and an equity would not satisfy anything. And that's the thing. Because what what really would get satisfied if I had to go borrow money from somebody at an interest rate times 10 to pay off a debt that you say that I owe that I don't fucking owe. It doesn't work like that, okay? And an equity, that would not satisfy anything. And there was no longer actual money of substance to pay anybody. All that we have is credit. So we have credits and we have debits. That's what we have. So uh, there is no fucking money here. So when these people start asking you for money, get into semantics, which is words and their definitions and what is, what is money? Let's get into that, you know what I mean? So there are other serious limitations on our present system since the institution of these events for practical purposes of commercial exchange, there has been no actual money in circulation by which debt owed from one to another party can actually be repaid. Federal Reserve notes, although made legal tender for all debts, public and private, in their reorganization can only discharge a debt. Debt must be paid with value or substance. So that's why when we do our acceptance for value, we're accepting it for the value, not for the price. Okay, so gold, silver, barter, labor, or commodity. So those are going to be real, real forms of payment. So for this reason, ACR 192, June 5th, 1933, which established the public policy of our current monetary system, repeatedly uses the technical term of discharge in conjunction with payment. Nah, it isn't really the same thing, but I mean, it serves its purpose. In laying out public policy for a new system, a debt currency system cannot pay debt because you can't pay debt with a debt. It doesn't work like that. So, from, so, so, so pretty much nothing has ever really ever been paid. 
You know what I'm saying? So you have never gotten paid an actual paycheck uh, for all the work that you've done. So the only real payment, so you do real labor work, you need to get some real payment, which means that they need to pay you in gold, okay? They can't pay you with a fucking debt. So, you, so you've never been paid. So you should never have had to pay taxes because they never paid you with actual money. Are they going to tax you on fucking debt money that you got? They're going to charge debt on top of a debt, bro? Really? 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 So, what do we got here? So, from that time to the present, commerce in the corporate United States and among sub-corporate subject entities has had only debt, no instruments, by which debt can be discharged and transferred into different forms. The unpaid debt created and or expanded by the plan now carries a public liability for collection uh, in that when the debt is discharged with debt instruments, Federal Reserve notes included, by our commerce, debt is inadvertently being expanded instead of canceled thus increasing the public debt, a situation potentially fatal to any economy. So what they're saying here is that, you know, they, they basically set you up in a system where they created money out of fucking thin air at a interest rate times 10 at that, and then they expect you somehow to get out of that debt. Because look, even if you paid them back all of the money, which you could never do because uh, it doesn't exist, okay? Because, so essentially they created a dollar, and now you got to pay them back a dollar fifty. You can never pay them back the dollar fifty because they only created a dollar. Okay, so for for the rest of your life, you're gonna be chasing your tail to try to pay back that debt that you can never fucking repay. So come on, use your head. Uh, Congress and government officials who orchestrated the public laws and regulations that made the financial reorganization anticipated the long-term effect of a debt-based financial system, which many. Uh, and government feared and which we face today in servicing the interest on trillions upon trillions of dollars in the U.S. corporate public debt. And this same act made provision not only the recovery of the remedy to satisfy equity to its charities, but to simultaneously resolve this, uh, this problem as well. Uh, since it is in fact the real property, wealth and assets of the class of persons, that is the substance backing all the other obligations, currency and credit of the United States, uh, and such currency could not be uh, used to reduce its obligations for equity, interest recovery to its principles and sureties. Uh, the only real way to ever discharge any of this debt is to just fucking discharge the debt. It is no way that you could ever pay this shit by any other way. It doesn't matter what they tell you. No other fucking way can it be done besides taking it, stamping it, and sending it back to the fucking treasury. Anything other than that, you're fucking everything up. To be to be clear, you know what I mean. So you don't so you don't fuck up what I'm trying to say. You're fucking it up. So HCR 192 further made the notes of national banks and national banking associations on par with its other currency and legal tender obligations. Title 31. Not legal tender. United States coins and currency, including Federal Reserve notes and circul uh, circulating notes of Federal Reserve banks and national banks are legal tender for all debts, public charges, taxes, and dues, emphasis added. Uh, but this official definition for legal tender was not first established in, in HJR 192, 1933, in the same act that made Federal Reserve notes and notes of National Banking Associations legal tender. National Banking Associations, now, I mean, that's what we're going to fall under, MBA. So, HJR 192, Joint Resolution to Suspend the Gold Clause Standard and Abrogate the Gold Clause, June 5th, 1933, joint resolution to assure uniform value to the coins and currency of the United States. Uh, as used in this resolution, the term obligation means an obligation, including every obligation of and to the United States, accepting currency payable in money of the United States. So United States currency, which would be Federal Reserve notes because they linked up with them, but it could have been anything really. So, and the term coin or currency means coin or currency of the United States, including Federal Reserve notes and circulating notes of Federal Reserve banks and national banking associations, which we fall under the NBA, national banking associations, okay? So that means that all of our money is just as valid as any of theirs is. If not, our money is more valid because it comes directly from the source of the private wealth, which is the people. All coins and currencies of the United States, including Federal Reserve notes, and circulating notes of Federal Reserve Banks and National Banking Associations, which is us, hereto and hereafter coined or issued shall be legal tender for all debts for public and private, public charges, taxes, duties, and dues. You see what's going on there? Now, 
you just you know so this is when you know definitions come into play here because they'll try to play stupid ass games like you don't know what you're talking about but really i mean in all reality you could just pull out a dictionary you know what i'm saying and maybe they should too like when the fuck was the last time they ever pulled out a dictionary you know what i mean so the term national bank and national bank association shall be held synonymous and interchangeable with notes of national banks or national banking association which is us have it have continuously been maintained in the official definition of legal tender since june 5th 1933 to the present day when the term had never been used to define currency or legal tender before that prior to 1933 the forms of currency in use that were legal tender were many and varied united states gold certificates and i mean we can i mean we can get back into gold too i'll show you guys how to make that shit if you want to be real like you really don't even got to be playing with these fucking clowns to be honest with you so interest bearing notes gold coins of the united states Standard silver dollars, subsidiary silver coins, minor coins, commemorative coins. But the list did not include Federal Reserve notes or notes of national banks or national banking associations, despite the fact national bank notes were a common medium of exchange or currency, had been almost since the founding of our banking system and were backed by United States bonds and other securities on deposit with the bank, uh, with the U.S. Treasury. And that's who I use as my, as my bank currently. Uh, and I make my uh, deposits there. You know what I'm saying? So I deposit it right with the Treasury Department. And they do their fucking job. They do their job. So the legal, statutory, and professional definitions of bank, banking, and banker used in the United States Code and Code of Federal Regulations are not those commonly understood. For these terms have been made the statutory definition of bank accordingly. Bank. What is a bank? Bank means a person engaged in the business of banking. That would make you a bank because you deal with um, securities, which is Federal Reserve notes every day, and you make deposits in another bank, but you are the actual bank. Okay, so definition. Bank means the term bank also includes any person engaged in the business of banking. Any person engaged in the business of banking is known as a bank. Okay, so 12 CFR definition. Bank means any person engaged in the business of banking. USC Title 12, definition of bank and related terms, bank, the bank, the term bank means any national bank, meaning any, any person, because a national bank is going to be you, state bank and district bank at any federal brain, uh, branch and insured branch. Black's Law Dictionary, banker as, in general sense, person that engages in business of banking, in narrower meaning, a private person. So who is engaged in the business of banking without being incorporated? So you're not a, you're not a, you're not a, uh, what do you call it? A corporation, right? So you're operating as a private banker if you're not, uh, you know, if, if you don't have a public venue such as the corporation or something of the like. Now, under some statutes, an individual banker, as distinguished from a private banker, is a person who, have having complied with the statutory requirements, has received authority from the state to engage in the business of banking, while a private banker is a person engaged in banking without having any special privileges or authorities from the state. You don't need privileges from the fucking state. You are the government. What the fuck are they really going to tell you? Nothing. I mean, they could talk, but I mean, everybody has a mouth. So look, it is a game of chess. Stop playing checkers with these clowns. That's what I got for you for now. Until we meet again.